Good morning, NaNoWriMo people. Today officially begins week three of NaNoWriMo, but we have to talk about week two first. So that's what I wanna do. Um, before I go ahead and show you all of the daily vlogs and you see how hard week two was for me, I figured I would just take a minute to um, have some coffee and share a little bit about what kept me going. And it's a big one. So I wanted to share that one thing that you must have during NaNoWriMo, NaNoWriMo is inspiration. Especially after the kickoff wears off and that feeling of, yes, I can do this. And then you start realizing as you're getting closer to the middle that it's only just begun. Um, you start freaking out a little bit, especially when you have zero word days and you start wondering what in the world you've gotten yourself into. And that's what my week two was like. Week two was a lot slower for me than week one. And I honestly think that if it wasn't for finding some inspiration from another YouTuber, that I probably would have just thrown in the towel and give it up. So I wanna take this time to feature one of the NaNoWriMo participants that has inspired me the most this week. And that person is Becca C. Smith. If you guys are not following Becca C. Smith, I highly recommend you go do that. I will put her link in my description below. Description below? Yeah, her link will be down below so that you can go subscribe to her channel. She is so inspiring. She keeps it real. She does daily vlogs of her NaNoWriMo journey, which I can't even imagine. So daily vlogs that are real and she shares her zero writing days and why that was. And like I, yeah, she has helped get me through. And honestly, I can say yesterday, which was day 14, I'm not gonna spoil it because you guys can watch the vlog, but I would not have gotten the word count I did yesterday if it wasn't for one of her videos. She did a video where she had a goal and she met it and so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Doesn't matter what it takes. So it took three riding sprints that were very painful, let me tell you. Um, they weren't like high word count riding sprints, so I just, but I had to, I had to reach it because I was inspired by her and I'm like, you know what? I have to reach this word count goal. So, Becca C. Smith, thank you so much. Um, once again, everyone, follow her. You will love her channel. The woman makes her own clothes, okay? Not only is she doing NaNoWriMo, she's got a book out that I've already started reading that is amazing called The Dream Diaries. She makes her own clothes. She makes super cute bags for her Etsy shop, and she's just like a hoot. Like, seriously, she's amazing. So my biggest tip for week two um, and leading into week three, if you guys are starting to feel like you're entering a dark slump that you don't know if you can come out of, get inspired and start with Becca C. Smith. All right, I'll go ahead and let you guys go so that you can watch my interesting week unfold. So, all right, talk to you next week. Day eight. NaNoWriMo and I wrote zero words. So the second week is not starting off as exciting as the first. So we'll see. I am counting my words from my writing sprint that I just did. Um, I went for an hour and I feel really great about it. This is day nine. I didn't get any words yesterday so I knew I had to get writing in like lots and um, I sat down and did my little what I'm gonna write about for this next writing sprint that is suggested in this book 2000 to 10,000 this book is amazing if you guys are finding yourself stuck with your word count as you're doing NaNoWriMo get this book you can get it on the Kindle super cheap 
um, <clears throat> but it has really helped my word count. So I'm gonna count and then come back at the end of the day and tell you my total. Well, maybe I'll tell you my total for this writing sprint for this hour. We'll see. My sprint went super well, which I had a feeling that it was. Um, after counting all the words, my one hour sprint on day nine, I got a total of 1801. So 1,801 words in an hour. That's awesome. Um, I have another sprint that I'm gonna be doing with my kids once they are up and around. And so I will add that to my total and share with you guys what it is. So even though I didn't get any writing done yesterday, um, I was super productive today. And so that's great. I'm very happy with it. So yay. I didn't get any more words after the word sprint. So my total, my grand total is 17,352 words. Um, I don't remember what my, <coughs> I think my, I don't remember what my daily count was for today, but it will be here or there on one of the sides for you. So yay, okay, here's today 10. So day 10, and so far I only have 600 words, but I did not get a hour writing sprint done. I basically am having to write in the little pockets that I can today because it's a somewhat busy day today. So I'll take the 600 and hopefully add to it. I only got 600 words for day 10, I did not end up writing again. So hopefully tomorrow will be a more productive day. NaNoWriMo day 11, and I did a one hour writing sprint this morning, and I'm currently sitting at 1,000 words for day 11. So better than yesterday, but I'm hoping to get another hour sprint in so that I can get at least I would love to get 2,000 words today, or three. Three would be epic. So, we'll see. I'm gonna try to get a lot done today. Don't know if that's gonna happen, but yeah. Day, today is day 12, but I never gave you the final count for day 11. There it is. Didn't get much past my thousand, so I got 1,150 for day 11 and I'm getting ready to dive in. I'm gonna do my little what I'm writing about today in my bullet journal, set the timer, and start my writing sprint for day 12. Day 12, my first sprint, I got 1,111 or something like that. Um, but MotoGP is on, so we're going to watch motorcycle racing, and then I'm hoping to get another sprint in later so I can stay ahead. But I hit 2,000. I hit 20,000. Yay. That's exciting. Today is day 13, and I'm sitting at 20,121 words. So I actually did not get any more writing done yesterday. Um, for day 12 and I didn't get a chance to put your the pretty little like um, Word counter down at the bottom, so We are just moving on though. We're moving on to day 13 and Hopefully I will get some writing sprints in But I have a couple things I have to do beforehand, so we'll see I'm sitting at zero words for day 13 and because I like I like to stay ahead and so being like to um, the goal today is to be at 21,667 so I feel like I'm not I'm right where I'm supposed to be but it's kind of frustrating because I want to be ahead because it's hard to do this NaNoWriMo thing when you have three teenagers and you homeschool and one's in college that wants help with lots of things and a husband and all the other, other stuff, a business, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how this NaNoWriMo ends up by the end of it. Um, we're almost at the halfway point, so yeah. So day 13, I'm eating a banana 
and some peanut butter. Um, I just finished my writing sprint. I got under what I wanted to get. Um, I got like just under my goal. I think it ended up being 1500 and something. I feel like this second week has been a lot harder. Um, I think part of it is just because, I don't know, we're getting to the middle of the story and things are kind of slowing down and I'm realizing as I'm watching some of my other nano friends that everyone's kind of struggling with the same issue where we begin doubting ourselves and doubting our work and wondering, do I have 50,000 words to say about this story, you know? So my total, um, total words, I'll, list, I'll um, post below. It's right at 21,700 and something. So for day 13, I'm right where I'm supposed to be, even though I would love to be further along. Um, I have to deal with some head stuff, you know, um, to just get, to get a grip again in believing in myself and that this story has a purpose for wanting to be written. So regardless what happens, like I'm going to see it through because that's what we do as writers, you know? Um, so yeah, day 13 is done. And I am hoping that it's like a marathon and once you hit a certain um, stride, you get that like runner's high. So hopefully the rider's high is right around the corner. It is day 14, which is officially like two weeks at midnight because today is Tuesday and NaNoWriMo started at midnight two weeks ago. So, day 14, so far I'm sitting at zero words. I have not gotten any writing sprints in yet, but I am heading out in about 10 minutes to go to my daughter's orthodontist appointment where she will be getting her braces taken off. And while I wait for that almost two hour visit, I think it'll probably be like an hour and a half, but, um, I'm definitely bringing my writing with me because hello, that's an hour and a half sprint that I get to do. So I will update you guys once I am finished and give you the final two week word count and upload this to YouTube like today. Exciting. All right. Yay. We're like at the halfway point, which is craziness, craziness. All right. I'll stop rambling. The last shot of metal. I'm getting my braces off today. Yay. And I'm hopefully gonna get a few thousand words written, but we'll see. Orthodontist appointment over. She got her braces off. And I got about 1,400 words. Nice. I mean, I haven't counted them all, but I got about 1,400, I think. So, I'm hoping to get one more little writing sprint in. Are we going to the store? We're heading to the store and then hopefully one more writing sprint in and then I will post up the final count for my two weeks. And yeah, I've got coffee here, but all right. I am celebrating with a glass of wine. Woohoo! Because I just hit the 25,000 mark. I am at 25,000 and two words on day 14. Woohoo! And Hannah is, where are you at? 29,300. So today's word count was 3,299. Yay! Day 14 is over and I hit the 25,000 mark, which was a huge goal of mine, um, especially after watching Becca C. Smith on YouTube. She, made me want to hit 25,000. So I kept going until I did. So never underestimate the power of inspiration from other writers. I will link her post, or not her post, but I'll link her channel below. Go follow her, you won't regret it. She is so inspiring. And I'll see you guys next week.